book of Isaiah chapter 54 verses 14 scripture reads and says that in righteousness you shall be established you shall be far from oppression <clears throat> for you shall not fear and from terror for it shall not come nigh you I repeat the book of Isaiah where we are Isaiah chapter 54 verses 14 scripture reads and says that in righteousness you shall be established you shall be far from oppression for you shall not fear and from terror it shall not come nigh you somebody touch your head and repeat these words and say I cover my life right now in the blood of Jesus speak these words and say Lord Jesus you are the word and as your word comes unto my life let me understand it let me receive it and let your word become effective in my life so whenever we are established in God's righteousness righteousness keeps the oppression of the evil one far from our lives and the terror which are the things that evil does or what Satan does through evil to attack our lives that terror as the Bible is saying that terror is far from us so what does that show you Satan what he has done to most families to most houses and to most lives is to make sure that he pushes God out when you look at the family where you come from when you look at your father's house where you belong because as we've been saying that we all have houses where we come from the houses that we come from are the places of our belonging man was designed to have a house that he belongs to houses has never been or houses have never been ideas of men and women this is a godly idea and as we've already seen that the first house was established by God in the Garden of Eden which was the house of Adam and Eve but however much God would come and even visit this house as scripture reads in Genesis chapter 3 Satan had an entrance he came into the house and he made Adam and Eve to fail in a blessed house in a prosperous house in a house that had everything and child of God this is what I want you to understand that when righteous never, righteousness never stands in houses it is evil that begins to stand and when evil begins to stand that means this is a door for Satan to do whatever he wants to do in houses so Satan is after pushing God out of houses never wanting God to be in houses never wanting God to be in families with any intention of establishing evil in houses Satan can't operate where righteousness is what he will do when he has pushed God out he will make sure that evil stands so that whatever he wants to do he can do so he gets that intention that if I can remove righteousness out of houses then I can oppress a family I can oppress the house and now because his intention is to establish evil so that his wickedness begins to operate what Satan is after when evil has come into the house where righteousness is no longer and God is no longer wickedness begins to pursue houses most people because our houses God was sent out of our houses of our father's houses you realize that evil begins to pursue us as we grow and as we continue to live we've seen a scripture in the book of Lamentation chapter 5 verses 7 what does the Bible say in Lamentation chapter 5 verses 7 this scripture 
is very clear and it shows you how Satan begins to operate from one generation to another because of evil and wickedness that has come in the house. The Bible says that our fathers sinned and are no more, but we bear their iniquities. NLT version, see what the Bible says. In NLT version, scripture reads and says, our ancestors sinned, but they have died and we are suffering the punishment they deserved. What does NIV version say? NIV version reads and says, our ancestors sinned and are no more and, and we bear their punishment. That is what Satan is after. To enter a house so that from generation to generation, he punishes that house. And most people, the sufferings that people are going through today, the sufferings that you're going through in life, have got a very big connection with the father's house where you come from because Satan received an entrance and never allowed God to be in the house. And child of God, listen to me very well. So when this has happened, he comes into houses because he knows every life has a house it belongs to. And now when he has come into the house and wickedness begins, that means from generation to generation, he begins to disorganize houses because now evil begins to birth wickedness that pursues families and houses to begin to enter into a state of living wrong in life. Very, very many people are living wrongly. Most people are not living according to how God designed their lives to be. When you look at your life, how is your life today? Are you meant to live the way you're living? Are you meant to be what you are right now? And I want you to understand this. To very many people, the kind of way you are living, the kind of way your brothers and sisters are living, is not right. Now, if you don't stand to receive the truth of God that sets people free, for you, you may think that is how you are meant to be. You hear people begin to say, I was created to be like this. Because even in our father's house, we grew up like this. Eating like this. Sleeping like this. And yet, that was a wrong way of living that Satan introduced into your father's house, which has kept on moving from one generation to another. The Bible says in Psalms chapter 7 verses 14, wickedness brings forth iniquity. That is why you see whether you are saved and you think you are filled with the Holy Spirit and you think that you pray, you know the Bible, you read the word of God and your sister is still in evil, your brother is still in wickedness. What is in the house is not far from you. Because we've seen in Matthew chapter 10 verses 36 that a man's enemies are those of his own household. That means what is fighting your brother, what is fighting your sister, what fought your mama, what fought your father still stands. It is time not to neglect your family. It is time not to neglect your father's house. It is time to stand and fight. If you can stand and fight as a believer and with your God, then things can begin to turn around. But if you don't turn to stand and fight, where the wickedness that is in the family is going to keep on producing iniquity. And as iniquity keeps on coming in, what does the Bible say? The Bible says wickedness brings forth iniquity and conceives trouble that brings forth falsehood houses have got a lot of troubles when you sit down and look at your house when i sit down and i look at my house there is a lot of trouble in houses but who brings trouble anyway so the bible shows you where trouble begins from trouble begins from wickedness that gives birth to iniquity and from there trouble comes in and it is not only trouble but you must understand this whenever there is trouble in the house that is a falsehood living satan will wrongly begin to interpret lives satan will wrongly begin to interpret your father's house and when you are interpreted wrongly you're going to be given 
a false identity that you're not supposed to be having. No wonder people are poor. No wonder people are lacking. No wonder people are in scarcity. No wonder people don't have the basic things in life. Yet, every house carries a blessing. Every house carries a blessing. And through these blessings, the more they manifest, this is when we see the manifestation of possessions in houses. Let me ask you a question. Yes, you may say, in my father's house, there is a B, C, D. But as a person, what do you have as a person? You as yourself, what do you have? Because if the father who has worked so tirelessly and has brought all those positions in the house, if he passes away, he's the one who has the power to maintain the blessing. You who has nothing, you have no power to maintain that blessing. Like it or not, however many possessions they will leave you with, without having the power to, oh my God, to maintain, to eat, to possess what is in the house, strangers are going to come and they're going to take that away. I have seen it happen to very many people. And as I've been telling you, I'm one of the examples of people. Our household, our father's house, had a lot of things. We were one of the richest families around here in Kampala. For me, I don't remember coming from the village, coming to Kampala. I grew up from here. I saw life. I saw greatness. I saw riches. I saw good things. But he who had the power to that, who is our father, when he passed away, we reached a time of even being sold in our own house. It reached a time and even we lacked what to eat. A very prominent and strong family. But on top of that, Satan hit us to a level whereby even you can't stand to point at any building that is of our family. What happens to such families? What happens to lives? People are busy concentrating. Parents are working so much to bring possessions in the house. But they that are meant to maintain them, who are the children as we are going to see, they don't have the power, they don't have the spirit of maintaining what is in the house. So it is time now to fight every falsehood that you know that came into your house and you can fight it in Jesus' mighty name. <laughs> Never allow to be what you're not and believe God to be what you're meant to be in life. And that is why you're here. And next Sunday, that is what is bringing us again in the presence of God to live a life that we are meant to live as God designed us to live in Jesus' name. This is what I want you to understand, that God's intention for houses, God's intention for families, when God put families into existence, when God put houses into existence, his intention was that every family must worship God, that every family must live blessed, that was the intention of God. God expects families to worship him. God expects families to be blessed. But the question comes, is that they are in your family? So because Satan is ever pushing God out of families, families no longer worship God. They worship things even that are not known. And others, families, no longer even know whether God is there. Today, as I speak, people are in beds. They work so much from Monday to Saturday. Sunday is a resting day. Other families, Sunday is a day of parting. In other words, this is when people come together to find out what the other friend, how the other friend is doing. Moreover, on a Sunday. Not on the other day, but on the Sunday. So you realize that every time and again, trouble is increasing in houses and falsehood is standing. Now, as falsehood stands, that means families can't worship God. And because families are never worshiping God and not worshipers of God, that is why you see every house, though it was blessed by God, the blessings of families are not seen. The blessings of families are not manifesting. Through the blessing that God put upon your father's house, through the blessing that God put upon your house, this is where the inheritance is meant to flow through your life and also manifest the more you grow so that you can pass it on unto the next generation. 
So what Satan does, he comes in as a destroyer of houses. And when he has come in as a destroyer of houses, he will make sure that you and your brother and your sister, he will make sure that in your house you are hindered from enjoying the inheritance that you are meant to have. He will make sure that you never enjoy your inheritance. He will make sure that even the possessions that come or oh, that manifest through inheritance, you never see any of them. Today, houses have nothing. They are shouting to the government. They are shouting to political leaders. Help us, help us. Child of God, listen to this. Politics is not going to help you. It is you to help your family. Politicians are not going to help you. When they attacked the house of Abraham, as we saw in the book of Genesis, chapter 14, verses 14, and his brother was taken captive. Have they attacked your father's family? Have they taken captive of your brethren? Have they taken captives of your sister? What are you going to do? What did Abraham do? The Bible says he mobilized. He put together the trained men, the 318 trained servants who were born in his own household. And then he pursued the enemy. And verses, look at this. He pursued the enemy because he knew his brothers were made captive. His brothers were taken. So he had to pursue which has brought us today and even next Sunday to pursue whatever belongs to us. This is not a season to leave behind what we are meant to have in life. It is time to pursue. Pursue. Your family must have marriage. Your family must have education. Your family must have wealth. Your family must have land. Your family must have houses. Pursue what belongs to you. Somebody shout and say, I'm going to pursue. No, louder than that, say in the name of Jesus. I'm pursuing my possessions. Now you're going to pursue. So the Bible says he pursued until, look at verse 16. Verse 16, until he brought all the goods. Somebody lift up those hands and say, all my brothers. Somebody shout and say, all my sisters. I'm going to bring them back. Yeah, bring them back unto the Lord. Bring them back unto that life. If they don't know God, you know God. If they don't step in church, for you, you step in church. Now you who knows God, you whoever comes in the presence of God, bring back your goods. Bring back what is your father's father. Oh my God. What is meant to be in your father's house. Bring back what is meant to be in your family. Say, I'm going to bring back. Prayer in my father's house. <laughs> Say in the name of Jesus. I'm going to bring salvation back. So he pursued. And he got all the goods. He brought back his brother Lot. Now remove Lot. Put any name of your brother. Which brother of yours do you know? Is he in Sosare? Which brother of yours do you know? Which sister of yours do you know? Are they in wickedness? Are they in trouble? This is time to bring them back. Say, I'm bringing back my father's house. Now, when you're determined, God is going to use you as a point of contact. When you're determined, God is going to use your life as a point of contact for all that was lost to come back to you in Jesus' mighty name. So now what Satan has done, he comes in as, he comes in through his evil as a destroyer of houses. And now to most houses, he stops them. He stops most houses from enjoying their inheritance. He stops most houses from enjoying their possession. And this is when Lamentation chapter 5 verses 8 reads and says, watch this. That servants rule over us. There is none to deliver us from their hands. Now, can you imagine a house that is meant to have God? God is pushed out. Now servants are on top of the game. They begin to rule over houses. They begin to rule over people. And here are houses with no strength to fight back. 
but glory be to God God has sent me to your house God has sent me to your life you must receive strength once again because in our weakness as the Bible says he is made strong so if the devil thought he has weakened you God is coming to make you strong again in Jesus mighty name so now scripture is saying that servants rule over us. There is none to deliver us from their hands. Contemporary English version says that slaves are now our rulers and there is no one to set us free. Has it happened to your house? You have given up on a lot of things. Some of you have grown and you say, I miss that house. I miss good schools out. Some of you have reached a level of saying, for me when I was growing, I never saw that. But listen to me, if you have grown and you have children, you miss it out, but your children are not going to miss it out. Because they are also of the house. They are also of the blood. And that is what God does. What did you miss out? And here you are, you say, I can no longer do that because of age. I can no longer reach here because of this and this. But let me tell you this. It is time to receive back whatever belongs to you. God will set you free. God will set you free. God will set you free. Say my God. Aha. Am I talking to strangers? Somebody shout and say, my God is going to set me free. Say, my God will set free my sisters. <laughs> say, my God will set free my brothers. Now watch this. Slaves are now our rulers. There is no one to set us free. But listen to this. What does verses 2 of Lamentation say? Because these are, these are characters of evil in houses. Verses 2, New King James Version, see what the Bible says. Our inheritance. Because now servants have taken over. Servants of evil have taken over houses. The Bible says our inheritance has been turned over to aliens. And our houses to foreigners. Who took your father's land? Who took what is yours? Who took what belongs to your brother and sister? Because when Satan takes over, he makes sure that people of the house never enjoy. Others just come to take over. And when others have come and taken over, it is as though they will keep on having what they took over. What does contemporary English version say? Contemporary English version says, watch this. In verses 2 where we are, the Bible says foreigners and strangers have taken over our land and homes. I am here to declare, because we are in a season of possession, you who lost land, you will possess back your land in Jesus' name. Uh -uh. I'm not only preaching, but I'm also prophesying. You who lost land, you will receive back your land in Jesus' mighty name. You who lost your homes, you will receive back your homes in Jesus' mighty name. What does Osiah say? Osiah chapter 12 verses 13. The Bible says, by the hand of the prophet. <laughs> by the hand of the prophet. What did God do? By the hand of the prophet, God brought Israel out of Egypt. I raise up my hand as a prophet of God. In your lives and also in your, oh my God, in your houses. And this is what I declare. If Satan took marriage out of your houses in Jesus' name, you are going to receive back what is yours as i raise up my hand as a prophet of god this is what i declare no more loss it is time for restoration it is time for deliverance and if you believe it let it come unto you in jesus mighty name god has all the power but he had to use a prophet that is why God has sent me as a prophet to speak good tidings in your house, to speak good tidings unto your life. By the prophet, God brought Israel 
out of Egypt and by the prophet <laughs> are you under this anointing <laughs> are you under this prophetic anointing in this place you are gonna be preserved in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ I stand as a prophet of God and I begin to prophesy and I begin to declare you are not gonna be consumed whatever is yours must come back to you and if you believe it let me as real out amens from you let me have a second amen in Jesus name let me have a son amen in the name of Jesus now somebody shout and say what is mine is mine let whatever came in your father's house let whatever came in your life hear your confession somebody declare and say in the name of Jesus thank you Holy Spirit speak it with power say in the name of Jesus whatever is mine is mine Jesus say in the name of Jesus whatever is mine is mine may that happen to you in the name of Jesus Christ ah, may that happen to you in the name of Jesus homes are coming back lands are coming back possessions are coming back education is coming back wealth is coming back riches are coming back somebody shout and say whatever is mine Jesus somebody shout and say in the name of Jesus Christ whatever is mine is mine speak aloud say in the name of Jesus whatever is mine is mine sit down Satan has never been designed to be part of your father's house. Satan has never been designed to be part of the blessing that God put upon your life and even in your father's house. God has never designed your father's house. God has never designed your life for Satan to be a portion in that house. And I stand on this altar and I declare this. Every foundation that has kept Satan in your father's house. Every evil foundation that has kept him tormenting you. Those foundations, I nullify them right now in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody lift up those hands and say, every evil foundation. We are not here just to, oh my God, to attend service. We are here to fight for our lives. We are here to fight for our families. Somebody shout and say, every evil foundation in my father's house that has stood for years, I render it powerless. Now you're like Abraham, you are pursuing, you are attacking, you are pursuing, yes, you are pursuing, yes, you are attacking, yes. Somebody shout and say, I pursue now. My brothers, Jesus, say, I pursue now. My sisters, I pursue now. My father, my mama, in Jesus' name, every evil. Speak it now. Say in the name of Jesus. 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 Shout it out. Say in the name of Jesus. Oh, you don't know what you're doing in the spiritual realm. You don't know what you're doing in your father's house. Somebody shout and say in the name of Jesus. Jesus you evil foundations you have stood for years you have stood for generations I am on the altar of my God you must never stand again
something is happening something is happening now mention your brother mention your sister something is happening father i surrender i surrender wilfred unto you i surrender passe unto you i surrender sylvia unto you i surrender brian unto you i surrender myself unto you every evil every evil foundation you satan that you've been standing on in our father's house today we render those foundations powerless now lift up those hands say lord jesus oh my god say lord jesus here i am on your altar deliver me deliver us restore me restore us as a house yes sit down satan has no portion satan has no portion in your blessing and in your house he must not be there that is why oh my god in john chapter 8 verses 35 see what scripture reads slaves 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 don't stay in the family forever they don't that is what contemporary version is saying slaves must not they don't stay in families forever satan is illegal principalities are illegal alcohol is illegal fornication is illegal whatever is a slave that came to enslave your children whatever is a slave that came to enslave your house poverty is illegal lack of oh, lack of money is illegal whatever is not godly but it was never designed by god in your father's house should never stay in your family forever and i stand to say you devil get out get out of families you devil get out get out of people's lives you are a trespasser somebody shall and say you devil out out of my life somebody speaking loud say you devil out out of my father's house yeah, sickness must come out. No one should die of cancer. My judge died of cancer. My father died of cancer. Get out, sickness. Somebody release fire. Sumula Murilo. Sumula, Sumula, Sumula. Somebody release fire. Say fire. Fire to sickness. Fire to drunkenness. Fire to religion. Somebody release fire. Release fire unto renting in Jesus' name. Release fire. Release fire unto bad characters and habits. Whatever came in your family should never be there forever. Should never be there forever. Divisionism in families. Release fire. Sumula, 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 sumula. You know, I grew up when I'm not talking to my father. You know, I grew up without talking with my sister. Something happened in our family. We no longer talk. We no longer communicate. Fire, 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 fire. Sumula, murilo. Hallelujah. I have brothers abroad. I have taken years. I don't listen to them. I have the people in my family. They can't even come to visit in my house. Fire, fire, fire. Sumula Murido. Fire, fire, fire. There are things that 
infected families they are things that infected homes they are not meant to be there forever it is now your part to stand and refuse say i refuse louder than that say as a oh my god say as a blood carrier of my father's house i stand to refuse what came in my blood lineage speak loud say in the name of jesus i carry the dna of my father's blood i declare we're not gonna suffer anymore we're not gonna rage anymore we're not gonna fight over each other anymore let me allow the amen from somebody let me allow the amen from somebody let me hear a loud amen from somebody sit down so scripture reads and says a slave a slave does not abide in the house forever that is no king james version but a son but a son now unless satan is a son unless demons are sons unless principalities are sons i can't hear your no ah i can't hear your no say no to principalities say no to the devil say no to poverty say no to oh my god say no 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 to troubles hallelujah these are now sons and daughters that are meant to abide in a family non poverty non sickness non lack non scarcity you and your brother your house was designed for you and your brother and your sister and your mama moreover to enjoy the blessing that god brought in the house And as we've seen in contemporary English version, the Bible saying that slaves don't stay in the family forever, though, though the son always remains in the family. Now you're going nowhere. It is the devil going out. Say I and my prosperity and my success. Say I and my brother and my sister. Say I. And my wealth and my richness we are going nowhere now if you are going nowhere who's going out exactly now whatever you know if it is alcohol if it is lack of marriage if it is religion if it is witchcraft if it is bondage if it is oh if it is sorcery if it is rumor mongering if it is fighting if it is hatred tonight oh my god by the power oh by the power given unto me by god to come as a deliverer and restorer in your house all that must live and you will stay blessed in jesus name if you believe it you shout let it be unto me in jesus mighty name go on go on go on hallelujah he comes in and brings steps step mamas they begin to say we are also part of this family you listen to us yet these are servants that rule over houses these are slaves who have come to enslave others they want you to believe you are my stepmama okay i have nothing to do my father lived his life no way she's a oh she's a servant she's a slave she must leave let me allow them amen. Because if you don't deal with that situation on your level, even your children will get married to other women. And even your sisters will get married to other men. Fire! You know, 
for us we come from a very humble home have you had people say that we come from a very humble home our home had nothing your home has positions your home has inheritance you were denied greatness you were denied possession you don't come from a humble home you come from a great house let me allow them in satan has a way he hides you know for me i come from a very very humble beginning it was not a humble beginning it was a beginning of bondage that must change right now you are receiving truth that must set you free how many of you came from humble beginnings you know we came from humble beginnings. The way I came to Kampala, I came on a truck that was bondage. I came to Kampala. I had nowhere to stay. I stayed on streets. I had a humble beginning. It was not a humble beginning. It was a beginning of bondage. Fire! Release fire! Release fire! We are here for our lives. We are here for our houses. We are here for our families. We are here for our possessions. We are here for our wealth. We are here for our riches. Say Lord Jesus. Oh my God. Speak it out. Say Lord Jesus. What is mine? I'm going to receive it from your presence. Sit down. This shows you that houses, this was never a plan of man. This was a godly plan. And because houses is a plan from God, God is meant to be the portion in our houses. He's meant to be the portion in our inheritance. And on top of that, the one who maintains and guards the blessing of the house is God, not nobody. People have gone into witchcraft to maintain what is in the house. People have gone into funny things to maintain what is in the house. God is the portion of our inheritance. God maintains the Lord that he has given unto our lives. And when you understand that, this is when the blessing of God that he put upon your life and your father's house and even your family begins to manifest in possessions that you are meant to pass on as an inheritance. But when you don't receive that truth, what is going to happen is this. God will be pushed out of your house, of your life, of your brothers and sisters and the servants of evil the slaves that control houses the servants that control houses will come and take over and begin to build up your house moreover on evil foundation and whenever there is an evil foundation in the house that is the ground of wickedness it is a ground of iniquity that is going to burst trouble and bring falsehood in people's lives in that house. Psalms chapter 16 verses 5. What does scripture say? In the book of Psalms chapter 16 verses 5. The Bible says, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, you are the portion of my inheritance. Someone shout loud and say, O oh God. Oh Louder than that, somebody shout loud and say, O oh God. Let your voice be heard. Somebody shout loud and say, Oh God, you are the portion of my inheritance and my cup you maintain. Now, child of God, the second portion of that scripture, NLT version says that, Oh God, you are my cup of blessing. You guard all that is mine. So we've come back in the presence of God. Let God release possessions our way. Let God release our inheritance our way. 
and he will protect it for sure. Because now we have the knowledge and the knowledge comes from the wisdom. And when you combine knowledge and wisdom of God in your life, that becomes the stability of your life. No wonder Isaiah says, chapter 33, verses 6, that in knowledge and also wisdom shall be the stability and the strength of those who are saved. Now that is where your strength must derive from. You are receiving wisdom and the knowledge of God so that whatever you receive from now, it is God, 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 it is God. Not your education, but God. Not anybody, but God. And then that is going to be your strength and you're going to be stable. As a believer, you're going to be stable. As a house, you're going to be stable. But what Satan has done is to hide so much in servants. They pretend that they have brought good. There is nothing good out of evil. It is only God who can turn around evil for good. And that is why I'm here. To turn around that evil in your life. To turn around the evil in your brother's lives and sister's life for good. It happened to Joseph. They have a blessing in the house. They have an inheritance in the house. The father never understood what he gave birth to. The brothers never understood the kind of possession they have. So they get their brother who is an inheritance, who is meant to be passed on and to the next generation and they sell him off. And when they sold him off, they thought that they have finished him. And one day, one time, God exalted him. And the Bible says in Genesis 42, verse 6, the brothers come, they bow down unto him without knowing that this is the Joseph that sold away. What happened to Joseph? What was evil was turned around for good. Because in chapter 50, verse 20, see what the Bible says. And Joseph stood. That is what you're doing. You are standing on behalf of your family. Say, I am standing on behalf of my family. Whether your family has evil, whether your family has sorcerers, you are standing on their behalf. Something must change because of you. Whether they are poor and they are in villages and they are so old and they can't make it, you are standing for them and their blood because your enemies are in the house. Something must turn around. Evil must become good because of you. And that is what God does. The Bible says he looked at them and he said, but as for you, somebody point to that drunkardness in your family and say, yeah, you drunkardness, see what you've done to my brother. See what you've done to my sister. Somebody turn to that religion in your father's house. You know, I was dedicated as a young child and they dedicated me. Spiritual husbands, spiritual wives are disturbing me. That is why my marriage is not stable forget evil God is going to turn around the evil for your good he stands and says but as for me you meant evil Satan if he knew he would have killed you before coming to this place but you have come <laughs> if he knew today you wouldn't have been here but you have come all the evil he has done all the trouble he has brought you see how you have maneuvered tell your neighbor hey neighbor in all those problems how did you come here in all those troubles how did you make it here tell your neighbor my god loves me <laughs> turn to another neighbor and tell that neighbor hey neighbor my god loves me because god loves you god is gonna turn evil around for your good in jesus matter say lord jesus i stand Ah, you are fighting for a blood you are fighting for a generation you are fighting for generations say Lord I stand and I say I am in your presence evil in my father's house evil in my family 
is going to become good for your sake. So the man stands and says, you met evil against me, but God, <laughs> but God, that means when God comes as a deliverer, when God comes as a restorer, he does not go in elsewhere. He goes where evil is. He goes where tough things are. He goes where problems are. He goes where impossible issues of families. Our family is difficult. That is where it's going. In the difficulty. Oh, in the difficulty area of your family. That is where God is going. So this man says, but God meant it for good in order to bring it about as this day. Others have not come, but you have come. This is the day. <laughs> ah, this is the day. Baba kano kulinya mukanisa na ebo chiri nyemu. Baba kano kuwasa kwe wawasa kwa baziyayo. Baba kano kola kwa kola kwa kendo payampa. Baba kano kusaba. Ne baba jako baibuli. Ne baba sambibu. Amina. Na ye guama nyo kusaba. So now he says, but God meant it for good in order to bring about it this day to save many lives alive. Your house will live because of you, not because of them. Ah, your life, your house will be better not because of any other person but because of you you who knows God you who is saved in Jesus matter name <laughs> plague is killing the children of Israel they are dying like nothing until Aaron went in the presence of God and when he went in the presence of God he got an incense of prayer and the Bible says in numbers so from the presence of God see what happened to Aaron he ran with the incense to go through the assembly you are running right now in God's anointing you are now in the power of God you are about to run as number says chapter 16 verses 47 then Aaron took it from Moses you're taking it from what I'm telling you begin from what I'm saying forget your past ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, there is a Moses in the house to deliver you to restore you begin from that level say I have a Moses uh, I don't know whom you have but you have a Moses say I Say, I, I have a Moses who has been sent to deliver me and my father's house. So the Bible says, then Aaron took it as Moses commanded. In the next minutes, what I command you to do, please do. Ah, you're not getting it. In the next minutes, whatever. If I tell you, sit down. Okay, sit down. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now, if I tell you, stand up. If I tell you, clap your hands. If I tell you, shout the name of Jesus. Do as you're commanded. Because in the next minutes, the Lord has already come in our midst. He wants to do us good. Some of you, when it is time to shout Jesus, you're going to be praying. Not, if I've not told you to pray, don't pray. If I've not told you to clap your hands, don't clap them. Do what you're commanded. And when you do so, because Aaron took it from Moses, the baton is coming to you. <laughs> it is your house that must be saved. It is your house that must be healed. It is your house that must become richer. It is your house that must become better. It is your house that must shine it is your house that must become different i'm about to pass the baton unto you so he took it from moses and the bible says and he ran in the assembly that is what god is gonna do he's gonna use your life to run through evil to run through problems to run through difficult things in the next minutes it is the spirit of god that is coming upon you to turn things 
things around in Jesus' name. Are you ready to run? Lift up those hands and say, Lord Jesus, use me to run through my house. Because the things in houses are so many. We can't stand and begin to mention this and that and that. They are those of seventh generation. They are things of the fifth generation. They are things of two generations ago. So now, allow God to use your life to run through your family. And as you run through your family, what does the Bible say? Already, the plague had begun among the people. Already, people in your house are poor already people in your life are lacking already people in your life are asking themselves what can we do tomorrow already people in your house are saying what really happened to us but you are gonna run through whatever plague whatever trouble whatever challenge has stood upon an evil an evil foundation in your father's house it must fall down it must be uprooted and if you believe it you shout three amens in jesus name uh-huh and let me hear the loudest amen and the bible says and already the plague had begun among us the people so he put in the incense and meant atonement for the people they are not here you're gonna stand on their behalf if your brother and sister is here glory be to god but you say i'm standing on behalf of others and then verses 48 the bible says oh i love this and he stood say i'm standing between the dead and the living there are those who died and have never driven cars in your father's house your fathers never saw a blackboard they are dead are we gonna raise the dead no we are stopping what stopped their blessing we are stopping it and we are saying though they died like that i and my children's children we shall never die like that There is a physical death that has happened in your father's house. But as I speak right now, the greatest death in families is spiritual. Most families are dead. They are living dead. Just moving. Complaining this, for complaining over that. They are dead. People can't afford to eat well. Ask your neighbor, when did you have a great meal in your house as a person? Now turn to another neighbor and ask that neighbor, when was the last time you took yourself out? You're waiting for your boyfriend. And men now things have become tough. They are marrying those with money. Big women or older women. I found someone I know. The way they were holding each other with this woman, I was confused. Because the mother I know died. And I don't expect that she rose up again. I looked at him. He said, I know what you're about to say. Age is just a number. Fire! How do you dare go out with your mama? Even you young ladies, 18 years, 19, 20, 25, you are with men of 60. Fire! You are dead! You look at a fellow age mate. You look at a fellow age mate. Release fire! Release fire! Auntie, you answer to the school fees. Go campus. 
Fire, fire, fire! You gentlemen, what are you doing with your girls? You're with your daughters. Yeah? Release fire! And then you begin to see a person grown up, 60 years, chest open. Yeah? Having bangles everywhere because he's moving up with the 25. With big shades, you can't see the face. Release fire! Release fire! You know, Satan, Satan, he has gotten his systems and softened them. Age is just a number. Who told you? Age is age. Age is wisdom. Now they have taken in from a level. Age is wisdom. Now age is not a number. Age is meant to be wisdom, not a number. Age is wisdom. The older you become, the wiser you must be, not the foolish you must become. Hey, I was saying it was fire. I fire. fire. The man stands. Oh my God. He stands between the dead and the living. And the Bible says, because Aaron stood, say, I'm going to stand. Because he did what? What happened? The pledge stopped. You have that anointing in your father's house, in your blood, to stop a lot of things in the next minutes. <laughs> Lift up those hands and say, Lord Jesus. I surrender my life. Surrender, surrender. Say, Lord Jesus, I surrender. Oh my God. Say, I surrender myself and my father's house. Right now, I stand to stop. Every evil, every evil that that I know and that that I don't know I am leaving your presence better blessed speak it loud say in the name of Jesus I am leaving your presence better, blessed, and with all my possession. Say in the name of Jesus, whatever has stood against my success and my prosperity, I stop it now. Somebody shout fire five times. Fire! Again. Fire! Again. Fire! The first time. Fire! And the fifth time. Fire! Sit down. Say, I surrender. All to you, O oh Lord. I surrender all. Lift up those hands. Don't stand, please.
Now listen to this. I told you obeying instruction is very, very important. They can't tell you to lift up your hands and you say you've lifted. This is not lifting of hands. They can't say lift up your hands and you say I have lifted. You don't know the rim that has just changed right now. You either fight for your life and family or it passes you by. I surrender. Lift up those hands and surrender. I surrender. Every sin. He's going to use you in your father's house. Give yourself away. Yes, I give myself away. Oh my God, release yourself and give yourself away to the Lord. Where were you? Yes, I give myself away. Hey, 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 hey. Where were your daddy? Where were your daddy? I surrender. Oh my God. Your brothers, your sisters, yourself. Surrender all to you. To you. Yes, everything. I give to you. Yes, we love Ramasate Brodosa Kataka. I give myself away. Eh, 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 eh. can't hold, witchcraft can't hold, those evil foundations I surrender yes I surrender where were, were you? oh my god, where, where were you? I surrender Jesus Evil, 
evil foundations are shaking. They are shaking. They are shaking. Yes, I surrender. Oh my God. Surrender, surrender. We're talking about you together. Don't hold on a sin. Don't hold on a sin. With all dignity. Lava, who you? Who you worry? Who you? Yes. Something great is happening in your life, in your father's house. Eh, 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 eh. Oh, I'm gonna hold on. It's not the day of your neighbor. It is your day. It is your day as a house. It is your day as a family. It is your day as a man. It is your day as a woman. It is your day as a young girl. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. You are getting out of houses. You are getting out of families. You are getting out of their prosperity. Mulabobu 
You are running through your family. You are running through your family. You servants, get out. Get out of houses. Out. Out. Out of houses. I say get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. I say get out. I say get out. I say get out. Out of houses. Get out in Jesus' mighty name. Why you have such a no you have chala. No you have to Obafu Bulinga Bafu. Abani Mubialo Bafu. Yet villages are blessed places where our lives begin from. Get out. I say get out. I say get out. I say get out. I say get out. Get out. It is a command wherever their brothers are. Obaba di Bueru, Obaba di Bungeresa, Obaba di America, Obaba di Canada. Wherever family members are, get out, get out, get out, get out. I say, get out of houses. Teba Jaku Damu Kava, Katonda Wababa Chukite. Be a God has remembered them. Be a God has remembered them. It is time for remembrance. Be a God has remembered them. I say get out, get out. What you have no one no. Eche chiku tu kako. Chi ambaba ganda bobo na chebali. Amagesi gago gako miyo. Gago, gago. O kutege la kuko komiyo. Baganda ba moyo na chebali. Katonda ba tasa. Katonda ba yamba. Behold and sip a hand of God. Behold and sip a hand of God. Behold and sip a hand of God. They are being set loose. They are being delivered right now. They are being restored right now. Eh, eh, eh. Oga no tia ba noksoma. Oga no tia ba sa dokumera ne sente. Okula bi ba ba we. Ta, 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 ta ba na. Ta, 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 ta ba zate. Get out, I say. Out of houses. Out of families. Get out, get out. Sesemo bugagababwe. Buseseme, buseseme. It is a command. Sesema, sesema vya wamira. Sesema manyagabwe. Sesema, sesema, sesema. Seseme biabwe. Sesema. Let go. Let go, I say. Let go. Let go, I say. Let go. Let go, I say. Let go, let go. Banabantu bagaga, banabantu siba avu, banabantu bagaga, banabantu siba naku. Let go of their properties. Let go of their cars. Let go of their houses. Let go. I say, let go. I say, let go. I say, let go. I say, let go. You servants, get out. Get out. You rulers of houses. You evil foundations. I break you from the ground. I break you from the root. I break you. Never kula. Never sobola kula kula na. Never be able to cast it. Mukubona abona. Because of you, I refuse it. I refuse it. I refuse it. I refuse it. In Jesus' name. Oh, 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 oh. There are young people right now. You're gonna feel like fire on your head. Neka tona chapule tete magesi na bewa mwebo na ba tasiwe na bewa mwebo na ba verebuluji. Who ya say? Who ya say? Who ya say? Mayumba. Who ya Teresa Biachama? He's putting together whatever was messed up. He's putting together whatever they refuse you to have as a family, as a house. Receive your possessions. Get out, get out, 
I say get out. I say get out. Obu fumbo me wamira. Abantu teba cha wasa. Be sanga bwe sansi kumaduka. Be sanga bwe sansi miriango. Neba ingira. Hey, hey. Get out. I say. Get out. I say. Get out. I say. Get out of houses. Obu fumbo kabuteo. Katonda ka ingira mayumba. Katonda ka demokola. Say Lord Jesus. I want to say in our gamba, I yes. Omu kisa gwe nyumba yange. No omu kisa ogundiko. Kabula bisibwe. Clap those hands. Please don't close your eyes. Clap those hands, please. Clap those hands. Do you know what you're putting together? Whatever was scattered, oh my God. Eh, mufe mu nyumba, mufe yo, mufe yo, mufe yo. What we have been to be about kweka, balo sababi kweka mayanja, balo sababi kweka kunsosi, unche uche tuabi sibira, balo sabagana. You clap those hands, clap them. Come and see, yes. Look at me, guys. Come and see, yes. Please do what you're told. Gamanti Ayesu. Now Kube and Galosi no Ebiangab your Nabi come out. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh my god, the rebel to pray the bataba. He peleko set a prodo. Eh, 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 eh. Bibio be come out. Bibio katon navisa. Bibio be come out. Long life. Oh, what you want to get one with Baba Tan is of butter. Baba Tan been to every I declare long life. Kubengales. Somebody shout and say long life. Gwetu na ba chite gera kubengaleso, beita ba senga, tuli na manya gatwa lo mukisa, unjo na ino mukisa mune ne nyo, tuwa tuwa lo mukisa gwe, enyu mene ino mukisa, tule meso mukisa, tebali na mani, tebali na buinsa, kule mesa chicho. Clap those hands. Stop there. Look this way. Say Lord Jesus. Louder. Louder. What is mine? No speakers. Say Lord Jesus. What is mine? Is mine. Oh my God. Speaking with power. Jesus. Obufumbo bebamira. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. What is mine is mine. Oh my God. Oh my God. Come here, young lady. Come here, run. Jesus. Who's Chomahanji John? Huh? Your stepbrother. Your stepmama. And she sings. Please listen. Whatever she did, young as you are, to stop you, it can't happen. They get you, young as you are, they cut off your behind flesh, and they thought you will never know it. Their agreement was the day you know is the day you're going to be set loose. You have known you're going to be loose. Bow down there. First to the ground. Oh, Jesus. Somebody shout and say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Louder, say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. My, season My season is now. Is now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Say, Lord Jesus. My season, My season to be better, to be better. is when no. young girl is when no. hey, hey, gentlemen is when no. young ladies it is when no. oh my god older women is when no. Chomahanji you've lost it 
from the spiritual realm to the physical she's gonna amaze many who will see her from today come here young lady sit down there and cross your legs say Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Deliver, me. deliver me hey mama how are you look at me in the face I want back your life and you know who's asking for this life it is I and you know my mission to bring lives out of your hands to God's hands you've made her suffer she can no longer suffer again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten by the time she leaves this place she has marriage as well. no. she has it no. No. no marriage no you sat like that you stopped her this is Kato speaking. No. And you know who I am. Give me her life now. She will. I want her wealth now. Yeah, it's done. This is not a debate. I'm not debating over you. I have authority. Yeah. You've had me. No. You know what that name is in the spiritual realm. I am Kato. I want her back. And you, I know I want her back. I want her health. I want her life. Father God, in the next minutes, this is broken. They have tormented her. They have tormented the house. But that is gone, oh God, in Jesus' name. You know you are not spiritual husbands. You are called for wealth. You are called to hold what is ours. You are sent to torment what this house is meant to be. I bring this house out of your hands now. Let go. Let go. Pick her up. also out of your hands. Go see life. Shomahanji has totally lost it. The exchange for wealth and stand. Everyone clap those hands please. <laughs> clap those hands everybody. Lift up those hands and say, Lord Jesus, I give my life to you right now. In the next minutes, I'm in a room of bringing your life from where it's not supposed to be into a room where your life is meant to be. I enter that room to bring your life out because they think they are powerful. They think they operate in rooms that are not usual. But I stand in what I was told to do. Out. Out. 
you are about to see what is so amazing with your life. You are about to see what they refuse your life to become. I step in that room now. I am bringing lives out. I don't need to come even where you are. At the sound of my voice. At the sound of my voice. You know what you have swallowed. Omanyi omukisa go wa chusamo. Onti katu chuso mkisa. Kalino mkisa munene nyo. Echitufu chidi nchio gulina. Echitufu chidi nchio mkisa gukuliko. Na yen kucha yo mcha. Oh. Cheba kusivira. Obaba itaba amanya. Katonda basinga amanya. Obaba agamatiba inobu yinsa. Katonda basinga obu yinsa. I bring your life out. Now put down your hands. As I'm speaking right now, what you are about to families by need into it to get a kicker. But what about your baba son seke? Never could care yourself. But could forget lunch. But could call it be a bagal of cucola. Nayere don't could chayom of family. Muchayo, what the way panka panka, what the way taba man, or no muku, or no muku nula yo, a yo chemua mutekambinya, a yo, utubule muagala, or mukose samuche mukose, mumulekao, people of God, while you walk at your abantu mukama bachayo, as a rim weso, zili no kukiriza, uti wali wawa manya se, as a rim weso, zili no kukiriza, uti wali wawa manya se, I am bringing lives out of those invisible rims, those invisible rims, those invisible rims, those invisible rims, they are not seen by man, but families know, uti no, Fabetu to the Tukola, Obamuchala, Fananatia to Ino Mufuna, Atetu Mufuke, Obamu Saja, Fananatia, to Ino Muamba, but in the name of Jesus Christ, Watakulubutoro, quickly, 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 Mulinia, yes, to Christ of Nazareth, no rim will stay standing, no rim will stay standing, no rim will roll over your lies, no rim will follow what is yours no rim has authority over your family over your family mwe panka panka mwe itampeo mwe panka panka utite baba sobola mwe panka panka lero every rim that swallowed your brother every spiritual rim that swallowed you unku sika yo musajja kwe changu unku sika yo unku sika yo unku sika yo echo cheba kukola back once once back full at the sa e yo rim e yo cheba kukwatira lero vayo musajja kwe say in the name of jesus tonaba chitegera yo kesa man oh gamba i'm coming out from that rim Weka sajja kwechi wakolo musajji omu chalo yo Lero musika yo Ama kezi kega koma wo Echo che wa sindike di obu la muwe Weita wa chitalo Weita wa amanyi Bring her in Jesus mati name Buli kwe bate kamurimu nga to sobola To cha sobola To li na manyi Te we sobola To li na manyi To we sobola Boba kagabu kasi Boba lo osa bali na manyi Boba lo osa ba chitalo Lero unku sika yomu sajja kwe Unku siki na yodala Eisho Eisho Ovire yodala Ovire yodala Bring that man quickly Oveyo In that room In Jesus matter name Oveyo Oveyo mu sajja kwe Oveyo Atene baganda bo Sono ye ka Ngambie E nyumba yo na E nyumba that room where you've hidden for years, that room where you've tormented people for years, people will be set loose. Come here, Jesus. Come here, bring her quickly. Jesus. 
Jesus. Wali waba antu abalala. Wenjo gere rolinga amageze aga kufudeko. Na ete gana genda. Hoyo katona imiri tewa munawe. Atomera, tomere mbera. Atomera, tomera. Your life must be better. Your life must be blessed. There is no exchange of a blessing. A blessing is a blessing. A blessing is a blessing. A bl oh, mabadi mulaine eno mutunulire. A blessing is a blessing. A blessing is a blessing. Ngambia mutunulire. Siku simiriza masoka mpwe. Muche, 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 muche. A blessing is a blessing. Somebody shout and say, I am blessed. Oh, olaba jemu akwe kwa musa jono. Lero muche yo mlinyere Yesu Christ of Nazareth. Tacha kuvera. Hebyo bie mbate muhokera. Olaba jemu akwe kono. Tacha mlinyere Yesu Christ of Nazareth. Unti mpolo goma za achika. Bisolo solo bia achika. We ania biwa. Who gave them the audacity? Who gave them the authority? There is no servant that will stay in your house again. Lift up those hands. Vanangi naba gambi te muzibidi za masu. God is helping you. Mama na masogan. Omani, there are only two young girls you are waiting for. Ava na ba nobody come kisa. The purpose as to why they were born. Omu kisa gwenyumba gudem. Omu bi na gamba techi soboka. Ninga mukama mazopa yam. Babuli muntu yena ugenda kuyambi ba. Gakat oh. Ngakatona mazopa yamba omuntu buliari mu chifachi no genda kuyambiwa ngakatona mazopa yamba buliari mu chifachi no genda kuyambiwa oh 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 genda kuyambiwa there is a different room 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 there is a Ba sesemi, ngambi sesema mayumba, sesema mataka, sesema obugaga, ngambi sesema tocha sobola kumira, tocha sobola. Oh my God, tacha sobola kumira, tacha sobola, tacha sobola kumira, baganda ba mwebo naka ba terere, tacha sobola, tacha sobola kumira, tacha sobola kuata, tacha sobola kumira na chitali chiche. Gambe biyange mbieta agakati Chogere gambo bugaga bange Ama yumba gange Ama taka gange Omukisa gwange Ungueta agakati Tosa njina wogu yite yo Aha Gamba baganda bange Baseseme Eh, au tosa njina wogu Chogere gamba baganda bange baseseme Gwamani cheba sesema, na ba mazoba sesema. Kuvanga au mubi, agenda ngabili mtu aina cha mute kako. Gwamani chicha kuvera mu nyumba, gwamani chicha kuimi na mu nyumba, gwamani oh ya chimi ni temu ya jochi tambusa, oh ya chimi ni temu ya jochi vera mu, oh ya chimi ni temu ya jochi ongera yo na yebi koma. I stand between the living and the dead. Whatever was done before, I stop it. What Whatever is being done right now, I stop it. I stop it. I stop it. Yes. Now touch your head. Yeah. Touch your head. Mention your surname. I want you. Mention your surname. Oh my God. Mention your surname. Jesus.
Mention your son name. Oh my God. Mention your son name. Go on. Go on. Go on. Abade akufuga. Abade afuge wamwe. Kat bamu jayo kuntebe. Gwetona machitekera. Tables are overturning. 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 Mention your son name. Mention it. Mention it. Fakulinya. Fajo. Fajo. Fakumanya. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go of names. Mention your son name. Say Lord Jesus. Ah, my name is blessed. Oh my God. Speak it loud. Say Lord Jesus. Oh my God. Bless my name. Now stand up. Touch your chest. Say I. Jesus. Say I. Say in the name of Jesus. I. And my house. And my family. We're not going to struggle with life again. Somebody shout and say fire. fire. Again. 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 Fire. Oh my God. Ita, 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 ita. Ita, Say fire of the Holy Ghost. Come upon my life. Come upon my house. Come upon my house. Come upon my life. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Come upon my life. Gena maso. Gena maso. Gamo muliro. Ogomo yomu tukufu. Jangu kubula mubu ange. Jangu kubana bange. Jangu kunyumba yange. Jangu kulinyari yange. Spirit of the Holy Fire of the Holy Ghost Oh my God
Jesus name But, but you guys are you in the right place somebody says spirit of possession come upon my life right now louder please uh-huh Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, possess me right now. Possess me right now. You guys, you're very far. Somebody shout and say, Spirit of possession. Possess me right now. Before even we come next Sunday for possession, please touch your head and leave an entrance of God's power upon your head like that. Leave a gap and look this way. Before we come back. Sunday. There are people in this place 
what the Lord has done is to possess you so that you can have possessions. His spirit is coming so strong on your life to possess possessions. Breathe in. Breathe out. Thank you, Jesus. Breathe in. Breathe out. Say in the name of Jesus. Whatever they denied my life to have. I qualify right now to have it. Say, Holy Spirit, come and possess my life. As the Bible says in Proverbs 8.22, and the Lord possessed me at the beginning of his way. May that happen to you. May God possess you right now. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in now. like a wave that is going to go through us. Breathe in. And breathe out. Yeah. This is the second wave coming your way. Breathe in. Breathe out. Touch your head, please. Yes. The last wave of his spirit upon your life. Thank you, Jesus. Father, the young, the old, the men, the women, we are all now ready to possess our possessions. Breathe in. My God, breathe out. Yield yourself. Receive what is yours. Yield yourself. And live and go with your possessions in Jesus' name. From the head to the sole of your feet. That means from the firstborn even up to the lastborn of your family. As God touches you, let it touch them wherever they are. Yes. Breathe in. Breathe out. Oh my God, breathe in. Yeah, breathe out. Now, breathe in. Breathe out. Touch their lives, O oh Lord. All of them. That none 
will ever be poor. Oh my God. That none will ever lack. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now lift up those hands and say in the name of Jesus. I receive what is mine in life in Jesus name Amen let's praise the Lord let's glorify his holy name Holy Spirit move me now your voice be heard. Paper, write 
from your brother to your sister. See the challenges that have been in their lives for a long time. Put them on the paper. And even you, write all those challenges you've gone through in life on the paper. And on top of that paper, name the name of your family. Who are you called as a family? And that paper from today night till Saturday morning, present it in the presence of God and say that I and my family, we refuse all these challenges and situations to stand again and come with that paper. It is going to be a point of contact for God to reach them, to reach everywhere. You want to see, we serve a God who has power of transformation. Say Lord Jesus, I and my family bless us. If you are called by the names of Joan as a Christian name, run quickly here. You are called Joan as a Christian name. Come here, please. Wow. In all this congregation, we have one Joan. You are blessed.
we give golden coins and All silver. Why do we call it change? Is it because it's the balance? No. Move. We call it change, believing God to change our Spirit. lives. In your hands, you are holding copper coins or golden Spirit. coins and silver coins. I declare silver and gold, which is wealth. I declare wealth in your life. And may God change your life from a level of poverty to wealth. Now move those coins up and down and say in the name of Jesus. I change from a status of being poor, of becoming rich, wealthy in my life. I will have possessions. As you hear the sound, move those coins. As you hear the sound of those coins, that is how you are going to see a lot of possessions coming in your life. They won't, oh my God, they will be so many and you will live to testify that there is a God of change in my life. Say I'm changing status from poverty to wealth. Let's go ahead and give our change offerings in Jesus' name. Spirit move. Move. as a person and then Sunday we're going to come prepare your special seed for possession a seed that will cost you because three things have attacked David he has counted the people which God had not told him and is told to pick within or to choose between these three things famine plague and his enemies and all these things were so tough for him to choose he said I'd rather fall in the hands of my God and then in 2 Samuel 24 24 he goes to Ar Ar Arauna he had an altar and he wanted it so this man wants to give it to David for free and David made a very, very powerful statement. In NIV version, he says that I can't, he says, I can't sacrifice to my God offerings that cost me nothing. Sunday is a very, very important day in your life and in your family. And if I were you, I would be the first person in, on these grounds. And when you've come, Make sure you make a prayer before the service begins. Throughout the whole week, be praying for yourself. And make a prayer and say, Lord, of all people that you're going to touch, let me be number one on the list. Get the best seed you can give unto the Lord on top of your tithes and offerings. And come in the presence of God. Is our day for possession that day on the seventh in Jesus' name. You are not yet saved and you want to give your life to Christ Jesus. You want to touch your chest. Wherever you're watching us from and you want to give your life to Christ Jesus, do the same. If you're in the diaspora and you're part of this church, yes, don't miss Sunday. Sunday is going to be incredible, incredible. God is after our lives being better than how we were before. You're not yet saved in this place. You want to give your life to Christ Jesus, touch your chest and repeat these words and say, Lord Jesus, even you are watching me by television, speak these words and say, Lord Jesus, 
Here I am in your presence as a sinner. I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. Wash me with your blood and cleanse me with your blood. With my mouth I confess. With my heart I believe. The Lord Jesus, you are Lord and Savior of my life. Come into my life. And turn around my life for your glory. Your devil, I denounce you with your principalities and powers. The Lord Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior. Today I am saved. Lord Jesus, help me to enter heaven. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let us appreciate those people that have given their lives to Christ. In Jesus' name. Lift up those hands and say, Lord Jesus, turn me into another man. Let me leave your presence better than how I came. Yeshu. say yes the Lord whatever Satan wanted to do to stop yes. your marriage to stop oh my God your happiness in that house thus say yes the Lord something has just changed oh my God something has just changed God has gone deep 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 even while you sleep thus say yes the Lord you are gonna see peace you're gonna see joy you're gonna see the goodness of God what they refuse you it will never stand again. You stopped her from sleeping with her husband, yet she's a married woman. Bye-bye. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Father, I give you praise and I glorify your holy name. There is none like you at such a time as this. You are going to find your beds. It is as though someone has gone and has uncovered your bedroom. He has uncovered your bed and thrown the covers over. But God has removed what sought to be powerful, what sought, oh my God, that you will never have peace. And there are another three young girls. What God has just done in that bed you're going to find when it, oh my God, the beddings are off. But God has removed what was done unto the girl child in your family. It, oh my God, that is broken. That is broken. That is why you're going to find your bed at the someone has removed all those covers. But you're going to see every girl child in your family. That say yes the Lord. You're going to, oh my God, marriage has just come in your family. What they sought will never be there. God has established it again in Jesus' mighty name. Father God, I give you praise and I glorify your holy name. Yeshu.
let's give him praise. Lift up those hands. Say, I'm blessed. Wherever you're watching us from, God, we shall bless you. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Shout and say,